It's not just thriving in the good days, it's thriving in the bad as well. That is how you can be a person who owns your future because you don't allow the bad days to get you down. You don't allow the negative people in your life to stop you. You don't listen to the naysayers who tell you that you can't. No, you understand that you matter, that your future matters, and that you can do it. Welcome to Grit, Grace, and Inspiration. I'm your host, Kevin Lowe, and I'm excited to welcome you inside. What does it mean to you to own your future? Do you even think about the future? Do you worry about tomorrow? Or maybe do you get excited about tomorrow? But what are you doing today to make tomorrow happen? What are you doing to own your future? In case you're not doing anything, well, you've come to the right place. Because inside of today's episode, we are going to have you owning your future. What's going on? My name is Kevin Lowe, your host, as well as a transformational life and business coach. When I'm not here in the studio, I'm working with clients just like you. People who are ready for that next chapter of life. People who are ready to make a change, make some big decisions, do some big things. Why? So that they can own their future. Today, it's episode number 190. And my goal is to give you the tips, the tricks, the strategies, and the mindset you need to own your future. Because it is time that you, my friend, grab life by the horns and ride this baby for everything it's worth. And that's what we are doing inside of today's episode. If you're truly ready to own your future, Well, then it starts right when you wake up in the morning. It starts today at this moment. It's you getting real with you, getting real with where you are in life. Because if you want to own your future, well, you got to get real with what you want your future to be. And in order for you to know what you want your future to be, you've got to get crystal clear on what today is. So what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is asking yourself the tough questions, asking yourself the questions that you don't ordinarily like to think about. Questions like, hey, self, am I proud of the person I am? Self, am I excited about what I'm about to do today? Self, am I liking who I'm doing life with? It's those questions, the questions you ask yourself. You got to talk to yourself. You got to get real with yourself. Because if you're not real with yourself, then you're starting off on the wrong foot. So you got to get crystal clear on what do you like? What do you not like? What do you love? What do you hate about life today? And where do you want it to go? That's the first step. That's the first tactic is getting crystal clear on who you are, where you are, what you are at this very moment. It's no doubt that life can oftentimes blur our vision. But when you take the moment to get clear, you can begin to see through the fog. You can get clear on where you are and where you want to be. Now, here's the thing. If you ask yourself those questions, those self-reflecting questions, and you find that you're answering no, that no, I'm not proud of who I am. No, I don't like what I'm doing in life. No, I'm not proud of who I am. If you're answering no to any of those type of questions, well, I don't want you to go anywhere. Matter of fact, at this very moment, I want you to be sure that you are following this podcast on whatever app you are listening to, be sure that you are following it. You are subscribed to it so that you're going to get a notification every Tuesday and Thursday morning when a new episode is released. Why? Well, because the following weeks are meant specifically for you and they're all leading up to something big, 
a big announcement I have, something that I'm putting the finishing touches on as we speak, something that I'm making just for you. For the person who said, no, I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. I'm not proud. I'm working on something for you. So hang in there. Keep listening to the podcast. Keep your eyes focused forward and just know that I've got your back. Once you get clear, then we can move to step two. And that is action over perfection. I see so many people getting stuck in life because they're focusing on perfection. They research, they investigate, they think, they dream, and never take action because they want to be sure that they're doing it perfect. They want to be sure that everything is in place. Everything is going to be just right. And you know what ends up happening is they never end up doing the thing. Nothing ever happens. And I'm talking about little things to big things. It doesn't matter. If you are focusing on perfection over action, then you're not going to go anywhere. So I'm here to tell you that I want you to focus on changing this mindset and to realize that you can get started, that you can course correct. But if you never start driving, then you're never going to get anywhere. You've got to start driving to then realize that you made a wrong turn and you got to turn around, but you got to start moving forward. And whatever you want your future to be, it depends on you taking a step forward, taking imperfect action over perfection every day of the week. Got it? Good. Thank you. Enough said. <laughs> there is one other little thing I want to say in regards to that topic. We think of life as this road trip. We're traveling down the road. And oftentimes we refer to the bad things that happen as a bump in the road. I've called it that many times before. It's a bump in the road. It's something that shakes us. It startles us. But in the big picture of things, well, it's just a bump in the road. And we keep going. Well, I want you to think of it in another sense. Because I believe that in this life, everything that happens is happening for us. Now, I understand that there's some really bad stuff that happens in this life. There's stuff that I don't have answers for. And to hear me say that it's supposedly for your good, you know what? <laughs> you can think what you want on that because I don't know. I'm just speaking from my own experience where I've been able to see in my own life how the quote unquote bad things have actually served a purpose. They've been for my good. And I want to think of you in your life the same way. And so I want you to start switching up your mindset for when things do happen, when bad things occur, when you do hit a bump in the road, I want you to start thinking, how can I use this for my good? How can I use this not as a bump, but as a jump? as a ramp, something that's going to propel me forward faster than I was even going before. Using it to your advantage. That's what I'm talking about. So when you hit that bump in the road, think, hmm, next time I'm going to focus a little bit harder and I'm going to see that bump in the road coming and I'm going to hit the gas. And I'm going to hit that bump and turn it into a jump and send me flying forward faster, further, higher than I ever thought possible. Start approaching the day with that type of mindset and see where you go. That is totally what I'm talking about when I'm referring to you grabbing life by the horns. My third tactic for you in owning your future is entering the day with the mental tenacity required to handle the bad stuff. I was just talking about those bumps in the road. I was talking about trying to change your mindset, viewing those as jumps rather than bumps. 
But that's going to take some work. It's going to take time. And it's only through living. It's only through experiencing the good and the bad that you can get better, that you can keep moving forward, that you can take what happened yesterday and put it into action today. You don't ever want to forget about your past. You want to remember it and you want to use parts of it for your good. Take the things that don't serve you and leave them in the rear view. But take the things that could be a benefit to you and use them as energy, as propulsion, as you move forward into your future. First part of this podcast title, it's grit. It's giving you the grit to get through the hard stuff. This life isn't easy. Trust me, I know. But you got to keep fighting. Sometimes you might be knocked to your knees. But you know how you own your future? Is that you get back up. Even if for a while you got to crawl on your hands and knees. The fact is, is that you crawl. You're not stopped. You haven't fell. You eventually get back up and you start running again. That's how you own your future. That is how you grab this life by the horns. Is that it's not just thriving in the good days. It's thriving in the bad as well. That is how you can be a person who owns your future because you don't allow the bad days to get you down. You don't allow the negative people in your life to stop you. You don't listen to the naysayers who tell you that you can't. You don't let the person in your life who is treating you bad stop you. No, you understand that you matter, that your future matters, and that you can do it. Yeah, it might be tough, and that's okay, because you're tougher. You're harder than nails. You are grabbing this life by the horns, determined to ride it for everything it's worth. Why? Because you are badass. You are awesome. And you are going to own your future. So, do you remember the three steps? You got to get clear on where you are today. You got to get crystal clear on how you feel about you at this moment. Next step, whatever your answer was to those questions, to those self-reflecting questions, you then figure out where you want to go. You get clear on that and you start moving forward and you do not get stopped by focusing on perfection. By investigating and research and reading and dreaming and hoping and praying and never doing anything. No, you're not going to do that. Instead, you are going to take action, even if it is imperfect action, because imperfect action is better than no action at all. Because you, my dear, you have a future that is waiting for you. And it is time for you to own that future. And as you take that imperfect action, you're going to build up the mental tenacity to handle whatever life throws your way. So friend, that's it. That's literally it. Those are my tactics for you today to take this life and live it, to grab life by the horns, to own your future because you are worth it. And your future is depending on you to put in the work, to show your future that you care about where your life's going. And you're going to do everything you can to be sure that it's an amazing future indeed. My name is Kevin Lowe, your host, signing off for episode number 190. Remember, be sure that you're following the podcast, subscribed, if not even better. Check out today's show notes and get signed up for our exclusive mailing list where you'll receive an email from me each morning that a new episode is released. That has a little note from me along with some exclusive updates and info, insider knowledge only that the people on the email list receive. You can sign up for that by visiting the link inside of today's show notes. With that said, get out there and enjoy the day. This is Kevin Lowe, signing off. 
real quick before you go, I have one last thought to leave you with. I of course hope that you've enjoyed today's episode, but more importantly, I want to remind you that I never want you to listen to an episode of this podcast to hear something that I have to say or that my guest has to share and think, wow, I wish I could be like them. I wish I could overcome my own challenges and do the great things that they are doing, but I just can't. Well, friend, that's where you are wrong. You are capable. You are able. And you darn sure are deserving of having all that you can imagine in this life. There's nothing special about me or any guests I have on this podcast. We are all just normal people trying to make it in this life. And so I encourage you to take a look at yourself in the mirror and remind yourself that, you know what? I can do it too. Now, of course, if you would like help along that way, reach out to me, whether that's as a listener of this podcast, a friend, or if you'd like to work with me as a coach, my contact information is inside of every episode's show notes, just like this one. So go down, check out my contact information and reach out to me today. With that said, I encourage you to take on the day every day with grit, grace, and inspiration.